There we go. Clippers get the rebound on the first miss for San Antonio. Right, always coming back off of injury. See Paul George with the excellent drive. Talk about scoring in the paint, but also the conditioning part. Get up and down the court, do some conditioning on the bike treadmill, but it's not the same as game time speed. So let's keep an eye on that with Paul George. McDermott, I don't know if you saw by the way, McDermott knocks that down. Clippers trail by one. Derek White comes in with good form, although struggled yesterday against the Sacramento Kings. And then some for the Spurs. Tend to shoot for the Clippers. Reggie, a more traditional attempt, and it falls for Reggie Jackson, his first bucket. Derek White was able to turn the corner off of a similar play. That time, Reggie Jackson, patient, got his man on his hip, able to hit that runner in the lane. Johnson, clever footwork, and a deft touch around the iron, off the window, and in San Antonio by five. Drives on McDermott, stops on a dime, he's the mid-range, and the jumper looks good. Paul George knocks down his second basket. Timeout San Antonio as the Clippers pulled it within one. That There are no stoppages, but we really hope everybody stays safe. I think we all knew that there'd be a bit of a spike behind the back. Oh my! Put that in the highlight reel immediately, if not sooner. It's interesting, the Clippers are trying to protect the paint from San Antonio, but it seems like all the damage they are doing is in the paint for themselves. Looking at Pizza Zubats, every possession down. They have 16 of their 19 in that area. Meanwhile, the Clippers have 10 of their 14 in the paint. Reggie to the rim and lanes it in at two more to the tally there. This is on the three, but we are tied at 19. Murray tries to play a two-man game with Perla, calls his own number, and rightfully so. And DeJounte Murray now with six points. 19 points. At 19 in back-to-back -back games. Meanwhile, Terrence Mann, who missed the game last time out against the Spurs, knocks down the triple, 26-22. Ty Lue says, I don't think he feels the defense in exactly where they are. And he's open more times than he realizes, but I would say Luke Kennard is getting an A to an A-plus with the way that he has played here in the month of December. Time by Terrence Mann and Batum once again, maintaining excellent spacing. And speech, speaking of which, that play, Murray, once again, now notice this, the San Antonio Spurs, make or miss, you're going to push it up. Jones the other way. Hands it off to Walker, soars in with the flush. 37-27, Spurs out in front. Landale, who's made an impression so far in this first half, can't get that attempt to fall on the follow. And so Bledsoe weaves his way down the lane and down the hatch, hanging inside with the timber. Boston crosses over Walker to the rim. No, follow, no, gets his own rebound. Yes! <laughs> Again, failed to capitalize on a fast break. Reggie was at least 15 feet ahead of everybody. McDermott for three. Jones weaves in and out of traffic. Goes up with the right hand. No, Pirtle again continues to be a problem for the Clippers. Another offensive rebound. McDermott in the corner to Keldon. Forbes had 18 points yesterday in Sacramento. Pirtle misses. Bledsoe with the rebound. Clippers don't have numbers. Luke Kennard does not care. Ring it up for Kennard. The voice is up here, Brian, but right now it's a little quiet. Hence, you see the lack of help a lot of times, and that time Murray. He didn't take a single three yesterday. In fact, he's the only player in the league, only guard in the league, I should say, is George retaliates on the wing. Spurs uniform kind of honed his skills early on. Well, he went over to Milwaukee, speaking about honing their skills. Paul George patient that time to float to the corner. Johnson, oh, last, with a hook. last <laughs> year around this time, Greg Popovich. Murray, nice pass inside to Pirtle, great catch, counted, and a foul. What a play by DeJounte. Pass from George in the corner to Reggie for three. And Pirtle with a rebound. Well, everything was there. Paul George gave it up to Man. Man did the right thing. Drove baseline, gave it up to RJ. Now they're going to make it, but guess who? First things first, at least in my opinion, they have to match the energy of San Antonio. Spurs come out with a full court press. Terrence Mann says thank you very much. Off the window and in. Took all of five seconds for the Clippers to score the first bucket. Reggie Jackson lobs it to George, posting on White. Can shoot over the top if he wants. He surveys the defense, gets into the paint, does indeed fire over the top and knock it down. PG. 
Zoo showing off some fancy footwork to get back in and get that block. Pirtle, the floater, it's good. Jakob Pirtle now with nine points, eight rebounds, and a couple of assists. Now on the perimeter, can get around him. The rim is open. Acrobatic shot as he reorganizes in mid-flight, but misses. Murray in the corner to an open McDermott. White in transition. Nice move, high off the window and in, count him and give him one more on the house. You know, to that point too, but Pop has designed himself. You see Pearl right there finding an opening in the zone that, I mean, from a parity perspective, you don't know going into the last week of the season. Beautiful pass from Kennard to Zoo inside, kind of like we had last year. Still a second effort, not there. Clippers shooting just 38% from the field. I thought Bledsoe was going to reverse that. He chose to take it and then you miss. Forced him to have to guard multiple passes. Then attack him. What? Nice footwork. Great touch. Knocks down the jumper. 21 point lead once again for the Spurs. I like how we are playing. The players echo this same sentiment. Kyle mentioned the 26 assists they had against Oklahoma City. Tough pass to handle for Terrence. Able to recover and knock it in. Another offensive rebound for San Antonio. 45 seconds to play in the third. White the floater. It is good. Derek White with 13. San Antonio has pitched nearly a flawless game, even though the numbers wouldn't suggest that. Pirtle down the lane, down the hatch. 94-65. A 29-point lead for the Spurs. But he's been able to transform the way he coaches, the style that he coaches. We said at the start of the show, the NBA is a better place with him in the league. Not so much as a broadcaster. I thought he was <laughs> NBC, How do you though. know? You remember? Yeah. How old were you? Eight? I like to keep six, my five? Life you don't even remember. Jim, he was also on NBC, which what? is where I learned to be. And oh. guys, Serge Ibaka flushes it home. 101 to 73. Jeez, Jim, you are, you, you are something else, man. You, really <laughs> you are. missed me. Don't even deny it. George for three. It's good. 101-76, Clippers. And tonight, I, I don't like watching them, I guess, tonight. 17 points, 11 rebounds, 4 assists in 28 minutes. Oh, my! Loses the ball, Murray. Deflection. Recovered by Winslow at half court. Bounces it ahead to man for the cross. Timeout, San Antonio. Just something you're almost daring them to do, but they found the range early to help build the lead. DeJounte Murray continues to impress. By the way, a triple-double for DeJounte. You know, stepping up to the task at hand. And this San Antonio team, you know, did that this evening. Right corner three, side back four. No rebound goes to Vassell inside. He lays it. Devin Vassell ends up in his hands. Now you pick another steal. Because you set the tone early by playing hard, and those bounces and breaks tend to go your way. 24 points, 13 assists, and 12 rebounds. Man slalom down the lane. Clever pass to Winslow on the wing for three. It is good. It certainly felt that way a few years ago when the Clippers had 18-19 team that just outplayed everybody. They were outmanned probably most nights. But found a way into the playoffs and got qualified for the postseason. Brighter days ahead for the Clippers. Tonight will be a forgettable one. 113 to 88, 90 seconds to play. Boston mid-range shot at go. It is Sacramento, Denver, Brooklyn for the Clippers to close out just after Christmas. They head out on the road. Boston, Toronto, Brooklyn as well. 25 points, six assists, six rebounds for the Clippers. Brandon Boston just going to dribble out the clock. The Clippers will fall to 16 and 15 on the year when the buzzer sounds. As